Hey guys, I'm Mimi and Dan Dual Sons and today is another Zen Pop box. If you already don't know, the Zen Pop is a monthly Japanese stationery subscription box. I'm not sponsored, not affiliated, and I just love their stationery. So this one is November's box and this one did actually sell out, which I was actually really surprised at. I don't think I have ever seen a Zenpop box sell out except for the minted editions. So this one I already know the theme for and you'll understand once we get into it why it was so popular. And then send, let's see what we get inside. And so first up we got some information and underneath that is the destruction list of what we get. And so without further ado... Ooh, oh wow! All my life I have no idea where to go but I'm gonna go with this first. And the way, if you have not already guessed, this is actually a space theme. And here is something I have no idea what in earth it is. So I'm gonna have a look at the destruction list. <laughs> Okay, so apparently this is a birthday bonus. They're actually sweets. So they come in like bright and colored boiled sweets. A hard candy if you're an American, but in England we call them boiled sweets. Oh, that is so cute. Oh, I didn't realize um, there was a birthday thing going on. Right, next up we have a um, two-way color marker. One end we've got a chisel tip in link light green and on the other end of the camera will focus is a very fan bullet tip. So here as you can see I'm just trying to it out and it's a very beautiful mint green colour and that was in chisel tip end and the final one is actually a light grey I think. And it is a really lovely fan point. And up next is one of my favourite things in the world. And that's masking tape and not only that but we can get a second one too. In some first we've got this really beautiful like planet one and I can actually see that it's perforated as well so you, you can just pull and tear off and the perforations and I don't know if you can see but it does have some metallic foil to it and this is what it looks like. So as you can see, and like in keeping with the space theme, we've got the metallic foil stars, you've got some planets, got the moon. Oh, you can really see the shine there. Really beautiful. The next up is something really unusual. It's like a galaxy in the sky, but... How beautiful is that? In second like die cut, and it's just a simple galaxy background with just plain gold stars, you know, nothing metallic. But you do get this really beautiful die cut edge. You know, and I have not got anything like this, and I really, really want to use it in something. I've just realised as well that I'm actually going with my gloves as well. <laughs> yeah, I have far, far too many washi tapes, so if you want to see my washi tape collection, you know, leave a comment below. <laughs> okay, so up next we have this really cute little memo pad, and it's got little whales on them. As you can see, they're in beautiful pastel colours. And inside you can see there's more pastel colours and more whales and these cute little penguins. And there's two designs. And that's the other one. This one's in pale yellow. You know, this, this style of whale actually reminds me of Wish Cash from Pokemon. But um, oh, I can't remember which game it was. It must have been Soul Silver, I think it was, when they started doing, you know, when you came across Pokemon and the Pokemon did some weird dancing. And whenever you came across a Wish Cash, you know, and he'd jump and bound and smiling and opening and closing its mouth and. For some strange reason, I just started calling him Wishy Fish. But then this one it reminds me of Wish Cash. Right, so next up is another bonus item. This is an anniversary sticker with the cute little rabbit-like mascot. I'll go with the rest of the stickers. 
Right, up next we have a black memo pan and what looks like an anteater, only one can assume. It's got a really lovely and simplistic design and I can only imagine how beautiful that's going to look with metallic writing on. Right, up next, wow, that is a lot of green and you cannot see it, but it's actually a bulldog clip and it's in green. Hold on a minute. I had to break a free button. This is what it looks like and it's got two stars and that is so adorable and actually yeah, I quite like this colour green. But one thing I like about it as well is that you've got a large surface that actually can grip onto. So yeah, I think I'm actually in a wonderful collection of these. They're so beautiful. Right, so next is one of my favourite pens in the entire universe. This is a Uniball Signal and it's in silver. And my favourite one of the Uniball Signals is the white gel pen because that works with most art mediums. So that's one that looks like with reflections everywhere. Next up we've got a Moonline Sakura. I have no idea what on earth is wrong with my camera today and just came just focusing in and out. But anyway, this one is in blue and kind of looks a bit like a jelly roll. Oh, I'm just noticing there's a little moon and star right there. Aww. Oh. Now that is attention to detail. Ooh, wow, and tell you one, that is thick. You can't really see it too well, but in real life that is such a beautiful deep blue. And as you can see, we've already seen that one or two wing colour marker and dark on, and as you can see, you can get into one green type and, and you get into all of the other different colours and dark up green. Right? And so next we've got these little puffy stickers and different types of gemstones in different types of jars. They've all got little bits of glitter in them and, and like accents of like metallic foil as well. Right, and up last we have a pencil case. And this one is... Oh! Mm. Oh, it's got a very plasticky smell to it. And you know that uh, really rancid new plastic smell. <laughs> Um, I'll give them a good wipe down there, to, but it's, you know, I've taken it out of the plastic, but, you st <laughs> but there's like still a plastic coating on it. This one has a navy and blue background, and on the plastic you've got different planets, no, oh, there's Earth. Ooh. I think these are all of the planets of the solar system. I wonder which one's Uranus. Ha ha ha! As you can see, it's also decorated with different stars, some matte colours and yellows, some gold, some have gold foil on them. Oh, hello. Okay, I've just realised that the camera went off at some point, so if you missed anything, I'm really sorry. <laughs> but I've just found two face masks, and apparently according to the instructions, you use the masks and the pencil case actually doubles up in somewhere to put the masks. Or you can use it as a pencil case or a beauty case or whatever you want to use it for. Well, that's actually an ingenious idea, that. That's what that says, so I'm pause the video and have a read, but I never even thought about that. No wonder I was confused. <laughs> but you can never have too many masks. And the pencil case in itself has this pull tab, I suppose that's what you call it. And that's what it's like inside, so you've got the navy blue background and you've got the clear sand to it with everything printed on. So you can see what's inside. Go on, that's how you use it. <laughs> Probably not with them, the masks, but you can see that you can put them to mask in there. And I think then, um, for me, I'm choosing as a pencil case because I've already gotten like a separate bag to put spare masks in. 
as I am very, very OCD like that. I do actually carry spare masks with me wherever I go. You know, I just like to be super cautious. But anyway, enough of that. That is so cool. Right, and that is the end of November's box. Now, I actually, once again, really thoroughly enjoyed the bongs. You know, I love anything space themed. So I'm super glad that I was able to get this box and like I can say it sold out and you can understand why and it's just like extra special as well because it's like got some birthdays and stuff in it to celebrate the fourth anniversary so yeah really liked it so if you guys are interested in your own Zenpop box I will leave a link in the description box below and with that said I'll see you guys next time